Good day and welcome to Mastering Dropbox. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to back up your company information inside of Quickens to your Dropbox folder. Now, wh why do you want to do this? I don't know if you've uh, watched any of the previous two videos I've created on doing this in Simply Accounting and doing this in QuickBooks. But the main reason that you want to do this is Dropbox is a great uh, off-site backup option. So I don't know if you've tried any of the other uh, off-site backups before. Uh, sometimes they're very cumbersome, sometimes they're hard to set up, but Dropbox is really easy for this solution. So it's very important that you back up your company information, and I'm sure you already know that. But what most people do is they back it up either on another hard drive on your, on your uh, network in your office, or on another hard drive in your computer, or you back it up to an external hard drive, or you back it up to a thumb drive. Those are all great solutions, but they all have one major downfall, is that if anything happens, if you're a home-based business and your, your house catches a fire, your computer gets stolen, or if you're in an office and the office catches a fire, for example, you lose all your data. Unless you remember to take that thumb drive with you when you left the office, uh, then you lost your accounting information. Offsite backup solutions are great. QuickBooks has their own integrated solution. Uh, Simply Accounting may as well. I don't remember, and I and I don't know if uh, Quickens do. But each of those solutions you have to pay for. If you have Dropbox, you either have one of two things. You either have two gigs for free. So you, if you only use it for backing up your accounting software, that's two gigs of data storage that you have for free that's off-site and secure. If you decide to pay the monthly subscription because you have other uses for Dropbox and you need more than two gigs, then you're already paying for it. So you can use that for your backup and you're not incurring any more additional expenses. So it's a very cost-effective way. And Dropbox is great in two ways for this. When you back up your file to Dropbox, Dropbox will automatically sync this file between other computers. So your data, your company data is always in sync or the backup is always in sync across multiple computers. As well, Dropbox has what's called version history. This is very important in my opinion because just say for instance you have a problem on your computer and your company data gets corrupted and you back it up and the backup is successful but you don't realize at the time that the file is corrupt. So you went ahead and took your company information, you've backed it up, you've put it in Dropbox, you have it set up for offline storage, so you've, you're, you're doing everything great. You have your file backed up and stored off-site, so you're ready for any emergencies or any disasters that happen. However, if that backup was corrupted and you didn't realize until the next day you came in, for example, and tried to open your accounting, cell, accounting profile and it won't load because it's corrupted, and then you go try to restore your, your backup, but your backup won't open either because it is also corrupted, now where do you sit? You're sitting with no way to restore your company data. Well, luckily, with Dropbox, Dropbox will keep a copy of all previous versions. So you can go on Dropbox and restore a previous version of your backup, and then you can open up that and restore your company. And yeah, you may have to enter in some transactions again from, from whatever has happened since the last backup, but at least you're not doing everything from scratch. So this will save you hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of re-entering your accounting information again. So this is a wonderful solution. If you're not sure how to restore previous version of files from Dropbox, I have another video uh, released. So you, sh you can go have a look at that video and it shows, walks, you re walks you step by step on how to restore previous versions of a file. So in saying that, uh, I highly recommend that you use Dropbox to store your backup uh, file locations for QuickBook, uh, Quicken, sorry. So with, without further ado, once you have Quickens loaded on your computer and you have your company loaded, go ahead and choose File and Backup and Restore and then Backup Quicken File. Once you do that, you'll get this little Quicken Backup window. The quick and backup win window will give you some current data of what you have set up. And you have the option there to back up my company or hard drive, CD hard drive or thumb drive. 
and the location. So this is where the fall, where you want the fall to be currently backed up. So this is going to be your Dropbox folder that you have set up for, for backups. So just go ahead and ch click change and then choose that folder. So for in my example, I, I think I, this is where I have it, but in my example, I have my Dropbox folder. So it's C drive Dropbox. Inside of that Dropbox folder, I have a folder called My Documents. And then inside of that My Documents folder, I have a folder called Quicken's Backup. So basically, my backup location, when I look under Save, if I choose this drop down box and see where I'm saved, it should say Dropbox, My Documents, Quicken Backup. And that's where I want it to back up. This information is saved automatically, but you can rename the test company if you wish. But I recommend just leaving it as is. So once you have your folder up here that you want to use as your Dropbox folder, so this is a folder that you've created specifically for Quicken's backups inside of your Dropbox folder. Once you have that selected, go ahead and press OK. Once you do that, it should update here. And so, for example, in on this particular time, I actually have my Dropbox still within the default location. So that was located under C Drive, Users, the name of the computer, Dropbox. And then, like I said, I, I have a folder called My Documents and a folder called uh, Quicken's Backup and then it, the name that was just given. So in your case, this would reflect wherever you have your Dropbox and whatever you gave as the name. Once you have that uh, selected, Go ahead and choose backup now. And once it's done, it'll say uh, quick and data fall backed up successfully and then just click OK. So that's it. That's how you go ahead and uh, back up your company data within Quickens to your Dropbox account so that all the from all your data is safely stored on a separate folder on your computer. It's also safely stored across your devices and as a in this expression, exp excuse me, as a very important point, uh, it is backed up on Dropbox's server, so it's off-site, and it has version history, so you can always restore a previous version if something happens. So if you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be releasing more videos. The next video is going to be released now very shortly. will be a video on how to restore your quick and data fall back to Quickens from your Dropbox folder. So stay tuned for that one. Have a great day and thank you.